Welcome to 1080p Macro Time. Today we're going to be taking a look at the full Neve and Frey, but before then I did want to give a little bit of an update about my second YouTube channel, Survive with Archer. Link will be in the description below. I uploaded the first video for that channel and that was showing my uh, bushcraft and survival edge tools, um, the setup for that, as well as some of the other edge tools that I've been testing out for uh, bushcraft and survival. Um, as you can see, this knife is one of the edge tools that I use. Okay, I was really surprised I haven't already shown a video of the Fulneve and Frey, as it is currently my favorite fixed blade. So let's take a look at it. It comes in this very thick leather sheath. I don't like this leather sheath at all, and I've actually replaced it. I'll show the replacement sheath in a moment. Um, you can see the Viking skull. This is a, or Viking helmet with a sword. Um, this is part of the Northern Lights series. So it is one of their higher end series of Volneven. Very large belt loop, as you can see there. Um, that was one of the reasons that I did not like it. Let's see how wide that actually is. Um, that's a five inch wide belt loop. So that can fit on any belt that you would want. Another thing I didn't really like was how the knife was not very well held in there. So when you were walking around, the edge could be exposed, especially if you put this in a backpack. So I simply replaced the sheath. This, there's two different sheaths that this knife could come with. The other one may be better. I'm unsure. Um, the sheath that I replaced it with was a... Blind Horse Knives number 6 sheath. Of course, uh, Blind Horse Knives makes their own set of knives, but once I was at a knife show, saw this, and it actually fit very well, and this was a factory second sheath from them, so it was excellent. Didn't see anything wrong with it either. Now let's take a look at the actual knife. I'll wipe it off. It has some dust got on it. Like, I believe, almost all full and even knives, this is a laminated VG10 blade. See if you can see the lamination line. Of course, you're going to see a lot of scratches on this knife. I use it very often. It's my dedicated bushcraft fixed blade. So you can see that lamination line right there. And that is the VG10 sticking out. Um, it has 420J2 on the outside and then VG10 in the center. You should be able to see the lamination on the spine as well. So you can see a little bit of a darker color in the center, and that is the VG10. It's very cool there. This is a um, 5.2 inch blade, I believe, and 0.2 inches thick. So nice thick blade. It is actually a flat grind until the edge, then it turns to a convex. Um, although they do not advertise it as such, I'll show you how you can tell that it starts out flat. So you take a flat angle, and you can see, let's see, it's right flat against there, and then right when you get to the edge is when the convex starts. You can see that. So kind of interesting, cuts extremely well, um, fantastic for making feather sticks and all of that. The spine does have a swedge near the top. Kind of thin it out. Um, haven't found that to be a problem when batoning or anything like that. It tends to be very comfortable. The handle is ox hide with micarta spacers. So ox hide spacers. Very nice um, and comfortable in the hand. Of course it's not going to be as comfortable as um, like the rubber grips, but this is more of a decorative knife. Um, it does thin out more towards the front, as you can see there. Thicker in the back, then thins out. Stainless steel guard on here that is supposed to be specially bonded to there. So I'm not sure how that is. It does appear to be a one-piece guard, so it's not split right here. Make sure you guys can see that. It's a one-piece guard. Um, the back piece right here, um, I tested it 
with a magnet. This is probably aluminum. Has a nice lanyard hole right there. Um, and of course, if you want to take the spacers off or the handle off, you can undo it right there with a specialty tool. It is not like what they call a full tang, but it's definitely not a stick tang. Um, it's about this thick. So that thickness. They do have pictures on some forums of these without a handle. So it is an impressively thick tang on here. And that goes all the way to here and then they have it threaded for the butt cap. So there you go. That is 1080p macro time. Um, very sharp knife. I don't have any paper right here. Um, Let's show some of this. One thing I did notice that I forgot to mention, you can see the grind isn't even completely. It doesn't really bother me. It is some imperfection though. You can see how the grind goes up here, right there. Some imperfections. And you can see it's perfect on this side. And perfect on here. And You'll see some horizontal scratches. That's actually from a plastic, I think it was either plastic or some type of Kydex type sheath that I was trying to put this knife in because I was trying to find a sheath that this knife would fit in before I replaced it with this as the one that came with it, almost useless. Um, MSRP on this, I think it was $500. You can get it for $350. Um, I paid $100 or I, it was either $100 or $92. I think it was $92. I got it from a local auction. So, fantastic deal on that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, Survive with Archer. That channel will involve mostly educational. Uh, bushcraft and survival techniques such as how to make uh, mass amounts of char cloth at one time, um, testing out the UCO fire or uh, windproof or stormproof matches, that type of thing, showing tutorials, and more of educational. This channel will be more of an entertainment channel showing short videos on knife uh, overviews, reviews, and that type of thing. Although, this uh, video ended up turning 8 minutes and it's just a knife overview. Uh, please remember, 1080p macro time are just overviews, not full reviews. Um, for a full review, uh, let me know if you're wanting to see that. I'll show some testing on it and all that. And if you're wanting to see some testing, I guess I can just make a short video showing that as well. I use this knife just about every day. I go, even when it's raining, I have some wood in the indoors to do some chopping, some batoning, and all that. Really needing to learn how to do feather sticks better, as I'm not very good at those yet. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I think I've talked too much. Bye.